Course Code Education 103 are the foundations of a special and inclusive education. In this mini lecture, I will just discuss or I will just sum up or summarize what I've learned uh, in the lesson of Module 1. I am Rico Sason, a BS in Math 3A, 21 years old and soon to be LPP. I'm from Kapalong College of Agriculture, Sciences, and Technology. Uh, uh, this day's lesson, uh, I am the discussant, and the topic will be the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. So about the course objectives, uh, at the end of this lesson, the student is ex expected to first is discuss the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. Second is to analyze the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. And lastly, to demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. Introduction. So, after reading the module, I have gained an interest in the subject. When we are different from everyone else, we experience loneliness and fear. We feel inferior and worthless when everyone else seems to get along and understand one another while we are left out. If someone told us we weren't good enough to be with everyone else, we'd feel even more useless. We are unable to converse or play with the other children because we slow them down. Inclusion is a method of assisting students with disabilities and avoiding feelings of dread, isolation, and worthlessness. Um, students with disabilities have the right to f a free and adequate public education in the least restrictive environment feasible under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act or the IDAA or IDEA which was revised in 2004. Inclusion tries to provide this education for students with disabilities and it is now used in many school districts across the country. The, uh, here are the four questions uh, that we will answer in this lesson. So what is a special education? What is inclusive education? What are the concepts of special and inclusive education? What are the concepts on integration and inclusion? So, the four questions uh, uh, will be answered in the next slides. So, first is the special education. What is special education? When we say special education, it is uh, the practice of educating students with special needs in a way that addresses their individual differences and needs. Uh, as we know, uh, there are schools that uh, have SPED or the Special uh, Education Program. So like in Maniki Central, they have a SPED section where uh, uh, special uh, students with disabilities are accommodated and learned there in their school. So this process involves the individually planned and systematically monitored arrangement of teaching procedures, adapted equipment and materials, and accessible settings. So the students in special education are those students that have disabilities or illness or something that uh, they can be considered as a normal student. Uh, and also, they have a special talent or giftedness, something that uh, it would bring different them to a regular student. Next is, what is inclusive education? Inclusive education is a learning environment where children with and without disabilities are thought together as equals. Uh, it means that all students attend and are welcomed by their neighborhood schools in age-appropriate regular classes and are supported to learn, contribute, and participate in all aspects of life of the school. Inclusion is seen 
as a universal human right, the aim of inclusion is to embrace all people irrespective of race, gender, disability, medical, or other needs. So in inclusive education, uh, uh, the special students or special uh, the students with a disability are uh, learning with those regular students or the normal students. They are thought together as equals. There are no exclusion or something uh, separate them separate them to learn equally. So it means uh, uh, with or without disabilities, uh, students are willing to learn. Uh, they are uh, if the uh, if the school is offered inclusive education and they are welcome and learn with their age appropriate peers uh, age peers they can learn um, a lot because in inclusive education they are thought at as equals and there is no bias uh, inclusion is also a universal human right because uh, every students with or without disabilities uh, have the right to learn equally and treated equally in the society. So the concept of special and inclusive education. In inclusive education, all learners regardless of the condition participate in a mainstream classroom alongside their age peers. So in inclusive education, uh, all students with or without disabilities are participating inside the classroom uh, with their age peers. Therefore, in inclusive education, if the student with or without disabilities are treated equally or they are participating equally and not in bias. So in special education, the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents are accommodated in a special class along with other learners of the same conditions. Uh, while in special education, all students are with disabilities. They did not include the without disabilities because in special education, they are teaching a special students. So in special education, the a special students will belong along with other learners of the same conditions. Therefore, uh, in special education, there are no normal or without disabilities in student there. So, they are treated equally for uh, from their teacher with a high um, degree of special education. So, also, in inclusive education, the learners adhere to prescribe curriculum and methodology with some accommodations, adaptations, and modifications to meet the needs of learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents. So in short, in inclusive education, if we have uh, students with disabilities uh, included included in uh, with in, in students with without disabilities, the curriculum prescribed here is adjusting with those uh, with those students with disabilities because if we uh, if we don't adjust then they are they are not uh, they cannot learn with with the normal students equally so in inclusive education the curriculum is um, adapting the modifications to meet the needs of the learners with disabilities so in special education is a special curriculum is structured on the learner's condition. Example, intellectual disability, visual impairments, uh, but is based on regular curriculum. So in a special education, there are sometimes uh, based, their curriculum is based on a regular curriculum, but there is special curriculum in special education because not all students can uh, can level can level the regular curriculum of those students without disabilities. So they are structured the learner's condition. Uh, it depend it depends on a student's disability or virtual impairments. 
Next is inclusive education. All students simply require good instruction, but different teaching strategies may be employed to those with low or very high education needs. So in inclusive education, uh, all students simply require good instruction, but different teaching strategies here. The teachers here have uh, different strategies just to provide the learners uh, equal and uh, just an equal uh, knowledge like teaching just to just to level the normal student and the student with disabilities so in the special education the learners with disabilities giftedness and talents are given a specialized and intensive instruction anchored on their curriculum so in special education uh, there are special uh, special there are specialized uh, curriculum that will if that certain students with disability have uh, talents or something that could they uh, they could s call them a special child they will uh, actually uh, they they have actually given specialized and intensive instruction uh, on their curriculum so in inclusive education the general education teacher oversees the learning of students in some cases with the help of a shadow teacher or a special education teacher so in inclusive education the teacher oversees the learning of students in some cases but the help of those special education major not teacher so the teacher here is uh, asking for a technique or strategies just to give a learning uh, balance or equally in special education teacher oversees the learning of the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents with the collaborative partnerships of other professionals listed in the Individualized Education Plan Program or IEP. So in special education, teachers are le learning the learners with disability. Therefore, they are um, uh, what we call here, we, they are discussing if they are uh, deaf or something they, that can talk, then they are, uh, they will discuss about or they will study about the hand gestures just to uh, have a communication, uh, just to improve their communication with uh, the different people or persons in the society. So they are being collab with the partnerships of professionals that listed in the IEP. So inclusive education, ideal number of learners is 30 to 35. Uh, but the others are going up to 50 to 60 because of the lack of classrooms and lack of teachers. So in special education, for one-on-one -on -one is one. For group is three to four. And for resource group is five to ten. They are lim limited to handle as special students because it is very hard for a uh, teacher to teach uh, students with disabilities. Uh, it is very difficult to handle a uh, different uh, attitude or different energy and different level of intelligence. So concepts on integration and inclusion. First is segregation. Students learn in separate environments that are designed to respond to their particular needs. Students are often not educated with their same age peers. So in segregation, uh, the student with disabilities and students with uh, without disabilities are uh, they are uh, separated. So they are segregated and they they uh, not educated with the same age peers. Next is integration. Integration. Students are placed in schools or the educational setting with their similar age peers, but the physical environment, school culture, and pedagogy remain unchanged. This limits the student's ability to fully access or participate in learning. Integration is not necessarily a step forward towards inclusion. 
they are because in this uh, figure there are just including them but there are still diversity towards them so in an ex exclusion exclusion is the students are directly or indirectly prevented from or denied access to education in any form so in short from the root word exclude they excluding uh, students with disabilities or persons with disabilities to learn equally or uh, they, are, they are preventing them to access an, ed an education in any form. Inclusion. Inclusion is when all students, regardless of their ability, are placed uh, in an appropriate general education classes and schools in their own neighborhood to receive high quality instruction, interventions, and supports that enable them to be successful in the classroom. Therefore, therefore in inclusion, uh, students with or without disabilities are placed in a general education classes in schools where they are received high quality instructions, interventions, and they learn, they learn equally uh, to the students without disabilities. So, conclusion. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act requires that a free and appropriate education in the least restrictive environment be provided to all students with disabilities. As a result, general and special education teachers must work together to provide the best education for their students with disabilities. This process can be rewarding for everyone involved if they are willing to expand their comfort zones and are willing to work at including the student. Inclusion is not an easy process. As with all educational practices, inclusion has strengths and weaknesses. In light of this reality, educators and parents must determine what educational plan will best meet the individual student's needs and work to successfully implement that plan. Ideally, the student will feel included in the general education classroom, both socially and academically, and will receive the best education possible. So the reference here is Foundations of Special and Exclusive Education, Module 1, that the module was given by uh, Ma'am Timblante. And the other is, you can search this on the web, just typing UNESCO 2000 about the review about the definition in inclusive education. It's UNESCO 2006, uh, UNESCO 2009, and UNESCO 2017, and UNESCO 2017 Special Education. Uh, uh, before ending this, uh, I just want to thank for listening and the discuss. So if we are having a friends or friends with or without disabilities, and convince them to learn. Uh, in the school equally because they ha I, we have uh, schools that providing inclusive education and as for that if they uh, if they are shy to uh, to learn with students without disabilities then you can uh, you can say them uh, you can tell them that we uh, the schools offered also as or the alternative uh, learning system or they can learn there with their uh, same age or age appropriate learners just to uh, have an access in education so that would be all thank you for listening thank you ma'am